July um, 2005, I received a call from my foster family agency, Wings of Refuge. They described him as a 12-year-old black kid that they was looking for placement for. And um, I told the social worker at the time that was really not the age that my age preference. And it was just something about the description that made me say, well, okay, I'll try him out. As a child, all Daniel wanted was a home to call his own. He finally found that here in Compton at the home of Faye Brim, his foster mom. He calls her the angel who helped save him. Daniel moved to the U.S. with his biological mother when he was 11, constantly traveling from one state to another. One day, after taking advantage of a free meal at a shelter in Los Angeles, Daniel came outside to find his mother was gone. She had left before, but this time she did not come back. It made me feel like it was just another day uh, without my mother again. It was, to me, I was, I, I was already uh, ready for it because I, I've been through a situation, you know, on multiple occasions. So um, it, was, it was another day for me to, you know, take my survival tactics and, and enforce them. On that, that day and just find whatever I need. Daniel found his way to the foster care system that day and to Faye Brim. Though relieved to be off the streets, transitioning to the Brim home was not easy. Well, I mean, I'm not even gonna lie, it was, it was rough at first. When he came in, he didn't have any concept of how much to eat. He would just eat, eat, and eat. I believe that come from being deprived and going days without eating until he felt like that I need to eat as much as I can because I may not get these meals for, you know, another few days or whatever. Faye enrolled Daniel at the local middle school. He got in trouble at first because he was moody and did not know how to behave in school. But soon, the basketball coaches noticed his size. Oh man, I started off I started off crawling in the sport, man. <laughs> I started off crawling. It wasn't easy, uh, especially conditioning part. Um, also, the skills, skill level, and what, what skills was needed to actually be successful in the in the sport. Daniel worked hard and got a scholarship to a junior college in Texas, which helped him get noticed by the coaching staff at Iowa State. Today, Daniel is a Division One student athlete for the Cyclones, and though his story is incredible. Faye Brim is not surprised. He just had that mentality that he wanted to make it, you know, in the world. While visiting one of the shelters in LA that Daniel frequented as a kid, he recalls looking out the windows at the homeless masses on Skid Row. I said, I always said to myself, you know, this isn't going to be me. It's only going to be me if I don't try to get out of it. And, and you know, I tried to get out of it. I can definitely say that the hard work paid off. That work paid off.